As a further measure to contain the spread of COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic within the public transportation space, the Lagos State Government has ordered buses and cabs to maintain 60% loading capacity in compliance with the World Health Organization, WHO's social distancing order. The Lagos State Waterways Authority, LASWA, and all relevant stakeholders in water transportation business, including boat operators, to henceforth to ensure that their boots and life jackets are thoroughly disinfected before embarking on any operation. All passengers in water, on water transportation compulsorily required to sanitize themselves by washing their hands with soap and water before boarding, while boat operators must use temperature monitors to test the temperature level of each passenger before embarking on a trip. Joining us now is the General Manager, Lagos State Waterways Authority, LASWA, Olua Damilola Emanuel. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank Good afternoon. you for having me. It's a pleasure. Can you bring us up to speed uh, with the guidelines your organization has put in place? Okay, excellent. Um, thank you very much, um, and um, and good um, good more good good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so, so for me, uh, for, for the water for 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 Lassua, um, the first thing we had to ask the first one identify is how do we get the operators to comply um, with the social distancing um, system currently in place? So we were able to obviously have a stakeholders meeting. Um, with all the um, operators, um, as well as the passenger groups as well. We had a stakeholders meeting where we all agreed what will be the best way forward. Because obviously you wanted an inclusive system. You didn't want something which you've just done in isolation without factoring in the fact that, you know, there, there, there are costs to be borne. So um, we, set, we then set the guidelines as the authority that they would have to just carry obviously 60% capacity, which is in line with what the, um, the Ministry of Transportation in Lagos State as well has also said for the buses. So for example, if you had a 20 um, passenger boat, you would, you would only be taking um, roughly about 12 uh, passengers on board. Um, some carry 10, but between 10 and 12. Um, and that way you leave enough space so that um, people are not um, in, in constant, uh, too close to each other. And as well, one of the things we we're also able to do was that even before you board the boat, obviously you have to have sanitized your hands, you have to have washed your hands before you get to the boat. Um, and the boat every day as well, they get to sanitize their life jackets um, and also sanitize the boats themselves as well. So that's how it's been so far. And, 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 and to be honest, um, I, we've actually had about 95 90 to 95 percent in terms of cooperation from the boat operators. What about the economic aspect of this? Because if they are to reduce the number of passengers they're taking, um, there is some ripple effect. Are there any plans to help, you know, cushion the effect of this? They still have to pay all their dues, don't they? So one of the things we did as a state government and even the federal government as well was that at all our terminals and jetties, we actually waived the fee for this period. So they don't have to pay those fees. And the ones that are concessioned as well, we're able to have a meeting with them and they agreed to just charge them 50% of what they usually charge them. So that has really, really cushioned um, the economic effect for these operators. Okay, in terms of patronage, are Lagosians making use um, of the waterways? And has the cost increased or reduced? Well, we've actually seen, uh, you, know, you know, a lot more people are walking from home now. Uh, but we've actually seen that we've we had a slight, about a 10% increase in the amount of passengers especially for last month, we saw that there was a gradual increase in that. And I think that will be quite explainable in the fact that I guess people know that, look, I have limited time at work and I will just quickly um, get to work and I quickly need to get back home. And they've now also seen that, you know, it's getting safer to be able to use the waterways because we put several safety measures in place and we also carry out spot checks because, you know, the thing with enforcement is that even when you've enforced and enforced, you must continue to enforce. Um, because sometimes you have those who just want to break the rules. Okay, just for uh, the purpose of emphasis, what are some of the challenges you've met since this whole process started? I mean, as far implementation. 
Well, what's all the challenges? You know what it is. I mean, you, like you've mentioned earlier, is um, initially they were still check the the operators were saying the economic cost um, for them, but by the time they saw the the, the measures we had put in place, um, they started to say, okay, it, it will not be that bad on their bottom bottom line after all. But sometimes we've had some times where you know passengers as well, yeah, which is a normal thing we, we normally have in the waterways where sometimes passengers don't want to wear the life jacket. They were like, okay, there's also some kind of responsibility passengers will have. Some, are, I mean, you're entitled to bring in your own life jacket if you want to wear. But if you are going to get on board um, the, the the boats, then you have to wear their life jackets. However, if you notice that oh maybe the operator have not sanitized life jacket, then then you can raise it up with the authority. So we've had a few, just a few. Um, challenges in terms of sometimes non-cooperation from the boat operators or the passengers. Post-COVID-19, how do you see all these changes evolving to become, which are aspects of it that you see evolving to become something of um, a permanent nature in the water transportation business in Nigeria? Well, for me, safety, um, which is the core culture of Lasso. And one of the things we always talk about is safety. And I think this whole experience even for us as an authority, has enabled us well to ensure that we put several measures in place. So I think for all the stakeholders from the authority, we started with ourselves because obviously charity must start at home, um, to the boat operators, to the passengers, everyone now understands and knows that we must maintain the highest level of safety, which will then all obviously boost um, the amount of people who are interested in the waterways and I encourage you to use the waterways. All right, thank you very much for joining us and sharing your thoughts on the news. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.